Sicilian Defense, Can, Modern Variation, 5, NF66.00QC77.QE2D68.C4. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. It was an incredible middle game by both players. The players battled pretty evenly in the end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The C pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the D4 square. NF3 moves the knight toward the center in anticipation of a pawn push on D4, where it will be ready to retake the piece if black captures on D4. The dark squared bishop has a fresh opening created by E6, and the queen has a new diagonal created by E6. D4 offers to trade the more important central D4 pawn for the C5 pawn in exchange for more control of the center and quick development. CXD4 provides black two key pawns while giving white only one. NXD4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. A6 prepares for a b5 pawn push to gain space on the queen side and stops the white pieces from using the b5 square. Bd3 supports the e4 pawn, if the e4 pawn ever moves, the bishop on d3 will be attacking black's king side. The e4 pawn is attacked as the knight moves toward the center on move nf6. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Qc7 develops the queen and controls the e5 square and the half-open c file. Qe2 develops the queen, supports the e4 pawn and defends the bishop d3. D6 controls the E5 and C5 squares and opens up the D7 square. The move C4 clears up space in the middle and lets the knight advance behind the C pawn. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is the last book move. This enables the adversary to threaten with a bishop and win a tempo. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to threaten a bishop and gain tempo. It is incorrect. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. A pawn kicks the opposing bishop forcing it to move or risk being captured. That's good. This moves the bishop to safety. This threatens to take an outpost with a knight. It is excellent. This strikes the opponent's bishop. It is ideal. This moves the bishop to safety. This threatens to take an outpost with a knight. It is excellent. This adds pressure by pinning a knight. This is the only move that works. This threatens to take an outpost with a knight. It is a great move. The knight is now located at an outpost, a safe area inside the enemy's territory. It is ideal. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is ideal. This strikes the opponent's bishop. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. The knight is now located at an outpost, a safe area inside the enemy's territory. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. This makes a passed pawn meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. This is the only good move. It is best. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. This puts the opposing rook in a position to lose control of the open file. It is ideal. As a result, the rooks are placed in a single file and are able to cooperate to pose a danger. That's good. This exchange is fair. It is ideal backs off it is ideal very precise it is best a wise decision it is quite good 
as a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This confines the opponent's king while also moving a rook to the seventh rank, activating it. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. That is a logical response. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. By posing a threat to a queen and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is quite good. The queen is therefore moved to safety. That's good. This buys time by putting a rook in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. This is a poor choice for rook safety movement. It is incorrect. There was only one good move in that position. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a rook. It is a miss. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. This is the start of the end game and white is equal. It is best. This passes up the chance of advance a past pawn through promotion. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to pose a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. This blows the chance to make a bishop threat. That falls flat. This gives the adversary the opportunity to promote a passed pawn. That falls flat. A chance to advance a passed pawn towards promotion is lost in this. That falls flat. This misses an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. This allows the opponent to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a miss. There was just one smart move to be made. This misses a chance to suggest winning a queen. It falls flat. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is excellent. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. It was an incredible middle game by both players. The players battled pretty evenly in the end game. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is good. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. It was an incredible middle game by both players. The players battled pretty evenly in the end game.